Hey there everyone, it's Cloud Chief, and in today's video we are going over all of Chapter 7 for COP missions. So after you finish getting the cutscene from 6-4 in Lufius Meadows, go to the safe hold. After making your way to Tavnasian safe hold, you will get a cutscene. After you're done with your cutscene in the safe hold, go ahead and make your way down to Sea Lion's Den and you will get another cutscene. Once the cutscene in Sea Lion's Den is done, zone back into the safe hold and then keep moving forward until you get to the Aqueduct's door and go ahead and click on that door for a cutscene. After you've gotten the cutscene from the Aqueduct's door, go ahead and make your way up to the third floor in the safe hold and click on the Walnut door at K7 for another cutscene. Next, you're going to want to zone out to Miserix Coast. And go ahead and make your way all the way up to F7 and click on the dilapidated gate and you'll get another cutscene. Once you're done at the dilapidated gate, go ahead and head back to the safe hold and then go ahead and zone into Sea Lion's Den again. And talk to the NPC who is in there, Suleen, and you will get another cutscene. Next, you need to make your way to Ruelude Gardens and go ahead and head towards the palace near home point one just north of it and you will get a cutscene after that go ahead and head down to upper juno and then go ahead and check the door for the marble bridge tavern for an additional cutscene next you need to make your way back to mineshaft 2716 through newton movilopolis you should hopefully have the home point from doing previous COP missions here for the Mineshaft BCNM. So once you're in the zone, just go ahead and click on where you would start the battlefield and you will get a cutscene. Once you're done the cutscene, make your way back to Bastok and go ahead and talk to Sid. After you're done talking to Sid, you need to wait until an in-game day changes. Once the game day changes, go ahead and talk to Sid again to move on to the next mission. So now we need to go out to several different zones and do some fights to move on. So first we're going to make our way out to Miserix Coast to E7, and you'll want to check the storage compartment. Once you've clicked that, you should spawn a bugger down them. Defeat the bugger and then click on the storage compartment again, and you should get a key item, Vessel of Light. Next, we need to make our way out to Carpenter's Landing. Make sure when you're zoning into Carpenter's Landing, you're zoning in from Jugner Forest at J8. Once you've zoned into Carpenter's Landing, go ahead and make your way to I-9 and you should see a triple question mark that's right by the water. Go ahead and click this and you will spawn Tomberry Executioner. The Crypt Tomberry will spawn with three additional Tomberry Assassin NMs. Go ahead and defeat all of them. And then go ahead and check the triple question mark again and you'll receive a cutscene. Next we want to head out to Babiki Bay and you're going to make your way to F6 which will be inside a cave and you will find a triple question mark. Go ahead and check that and that will spawn a Kraken mob. Go ahead and defeat it and check the triple question marks again for an additional cutscene. Once you have defeated all three of these NMs, go ahead and make your way back to Sid and he will give you a key item. Once you are done that, make your way back to Sea Lion's Den and go ahead and talk to Suleen again in Sea Lion's Den. So once you're ready to go do the Tenzin fight or on Warrior's Path, just go ahead and make your way out to Sea Lion's Den. If you didn't already talk to Suleen, make sure you talk to her. Then go ahead and click on the Iron Gate and then select the Warrior's Path and it will start the BCNM with Tenson.
Once you clear the BCNM, you should have a really long cutscene, so make sure you have some time set aside so you can enjoy the cutscene. And congratulations, you should now be in C. C has always been a big accomplishment to get, as it's very far into missions, and it's a really cool zone to go and explore around. So go ahead and enjoy your time running around and see and check things out. And then we will be back here to go over all of the missions for COP8. Thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you for supporting the channel. And may you have success in all you do.